بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں ان شاء اللہ ٹمورو آن ٹوینٹی سیونتھ فیبرری ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی ٹو آن سنڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کنڈکٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹیسٹ فار آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس فار آل دا کینڈیڈیٹس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ آئی سجیسٹ اینڈ ایڈوائز ٹو آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس یو شوڈ جوائن دیٹ ٹیسٹ سیشن دیٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ دیٹ از اسینشیل فار دا پریپریشن فار دا پوسٹ آف لیکچرر اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ آل ادر ریٹرن ٹیسٹس In tomorrow's test, there are four topics. The first topic is regression and correlation. Today, I want to discuss all important, very important questions of that topic with you students. Before starting today's important lecture, I request everyone subscribe to my channel, like and share my channel and click the bell icon for the notifications of the next important videos. let's start number one is what is regression actually regression is the we check the dependence of one variable on one or more independent variables for example if i say wheat is our major crop it is sown in all over the punjab its production is our dependent variable it depends upon for example quantity of seed that is our independent variable if we want to estimate the value of our dependent variable which is production of wheat with the help of our independent variable which is seed quantity then it is regression and then what is regression regressant is also called dependent variable it is also called predictant variable it is also called response variable that is very important question for all the papers of statistics if we want to predict the value of the response variable the predictant variable the dependent variable the regressant then the next is predictor the independent variable is also called predictor on the behalf of which with the help of which we estimate the value of the dependent variable that is called predictor it is also called independent variable it is also called regressor then the fourth one is who introduced regression a very important question it is a multiple choice question who introduced the answer is the sir francis galton introduced regression and when he introduced he introduced in 1877 next question is regression equation it is a mathematical equation which is used to determine the value of the dependent variable with the help of the independent variables and regression equation is also called estimating equation it is also called prediction equation it is also called equation of average relationship these mcqs can be can be in the exam of written test of ppsc and fpsc then the next is b a very important concept of interview as well as written test b is the regression coefficient it is the value of the dependent variable for the unit change in the independent variable it is the value of the dependent variable for the it is the increase in the dependent variable for the unit change in the independent variable then what is a it is intercept intercept of the regression line if i say there is there is the regression coefficient is 0 then the value of the dependent variable will be a it will be the intercept of the line and b is also called slope of the line then the next is scatter diagram it is a plot it is a diagram which is used to check the relationship between the two variables then the next is simple regression dear students in simple regression we have one independent variable and one dependent variable we check the dependence of one variable on one independent variable whereas in multiple regression we check the dependence of one variable on one on two or more independent variables for example the production of sugar cane sugar cane is our major crop it depends upon number of waters number of plows seed quantity sowing date sowing type many independent variables that will be the case of multiple regression then the next is passes through origin if the regression line 
passes through origin its intercept will be equal to 0 its alpha will be equal to 0 its a will be equal to 0 then the next question a very important one independent of regression coefficient is independent of origin and I have told you in the last lectures independent means plus minus if I add a constant value in all the values of x and y if I subtract a constant value let's say 5 7 9 from all the values of x and y then regression will not be affected b will not be affected regression is independent of change of origin change of plus and minus it is dependent upon change of scale if I multiply and divide a constant value in all the values of x and y regression will be changed it is introduced by Sir Francis Galton its regression its range is from minus regression coefficients range is minus infinity to plus infinity the value can come in the interval of minus infinity to plus infinity for b it is a dependence of one variable on one or more independent variables scatter plot is a diagram which shows us which tells us about the relationship between the two variables these are the basic concepts of regression then the next is a very important one if the unit of independent variable is in kilograms then the unit of dependent will be what it can be any unit you cannot say that if the independent variable is, is in centimeter then the dependent will also be in the centimeter it can be any unit then the next one is regression equations regression equations are obtained by the least square method least square method is used to find out the normal equations then the least square theory least square theory was given by Gauss Markov and when he gave he gave in 1809 a very important one and Gauss Markov theorem state, states that the least square estimators are the best linear unbiased estimators that is the statement given by Gauss Markov then correlation in correlation there is no concept of independence both variables are depending upon each other the dependence of two variables upon each other that will be the case of correlation in regression we have the concept of independence as well as dependence but in correlation both variables are depending upon each other then who introduced correlation it was introduced by Carl Pearson a very important question then range of the correlation coefficient is from minus 1 to plus 1 and in regression I told you it is independent of origin but not scale but Re uh, correlation coefficient is independent of both origin and scale it is not affected by plus minus multiply and divide then the next is rank correlation it was given by Spearman Spearman was the person who gave the idea of rank correlation then its range is like the same correlation coefficient from minus 1 to plus 1 in regression independent variable is fixed actually but dependent variable is random in correlation both are random a very important question and r the value of r is always under root b y x into b x y you can say that the correlation coefficient is a geometric mean of the two regression coefficients and multiple correlation its range is 0 to plus 1 and the range of the partial correlation coefficient is also from minus 1 to plus 1 dear students and best of luck for the tomorrow's paper and must comment on today's lecture Assalamu alaikum.